I just assume we've been to the moon. How, how do you feel about this, Ari? You're smarter than me. Excuse me. Um, What's going on, everybody? Rock Bottom Podcast, Radio Vita with Ari Jane. How are you, my dear? Hello. Just can't get What's- enough today. That's not a ridiculous question. People ask it all the time. What are you doing? Aryjane.com. She's not a comedian, but she's really good at making deodorant. So I I'm wearing it right now. I smell amazing. People are coming up to me, taking pictures, hugging me. So, like, thank you for coming to Sackets Harbor. It, it felt cool. It, like, so, I, I don't care because all that matters is that they invented space ice cream. Like, honestly. Space ice cream? You're acting like cookie dough isn't a thing. Get your fucking ice cream priorities together. Come on, Aaron. Cookie dough is the best ice cream. Anything with cookie dough is how it goes. <laughs> act like you act like you don't like cookie dough. Act like you don't like cookie dough ice cream. Act Why like are you being you had, weird about this shit? Act like you've had space ice cream. Why do you gotta be fucking weird about this shit? Obviously, everyone likes fucking cookie dough ice cream. This is you a fucking case. weirdo about this shit. Ask Ben good. and Jerry about fucking cookie dough. I'm fake yelling at you. Uh, I'm talking ridiculous. Uh, I, don't take that. Really? You're mad at me about cookie dough? <laughs> and ice cream. That's to what it came down to. It came down to fucking cookie dough about ice cream. That You're mad at me? Enough of this. Enough of this uh, insaneness. I do think that house is haunted. Okay. Yeah. That's well, I love you, my dear. In whatever regards you let me love you, I love you. <laughs> and uh, that sounded weird as fuck, but whatever regards, I don't give a shit. I think you're fucking amazing. And what's going on, Rock Bottom Podcast? What's up? I got the lovely Ari Jane here with me. How are you, my dear? I'm doing well. AJ never seen a pink sock in a gym locker room. Thanks. That's, I don't have pink socks. Do you have pink socks? I just have a pink blanket. You don't realize when you have boyish behavior. <laughs> so <laughs> I didn't, I apologize to you. I did not mean to sound like that. It, I heard that on the replay and I was like, oh, holy hell, Ari. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Girl. Um, so I was seriously proud of you and... Yeah, I that did it, sound like I was like your your son in fifth grade. I'm, you know, I'm very proud of you. I was like, what the fuck? All right, Earl's fucking jacked. I'm getting in shape, Ari. I might do. I'm gonna do a shirtless photo on Instagram next week. I'm gonna do a shirtless photo. I'm gonna fucking Matt Rife it up. I'm get, I'm getting jacked right now. I'm getting uh, cause I can't run. Are you a comic, Ari? I, I hate no. asking that. Okay. No, she's not. She is uh I met Aries. She was the bar manager of a of a pharmacy in Akron. They would do comedy shows there, and I met her there, and we became good friends. We uh we we tried dating. <laughs> we we tried dating, and uh, on one of the dates, some guy showed up and uh brought flowers. What, no. So if you're gonna tell it, tell it right. If you're it's the story I'm it, going with. You could correct me after I say the story. Some guy showed up, brought her flowers. The next day, they got engaged. They were married a week later, and that's the end of it. It uh, sounds like you have bad luck there. But they got divorced. They're divorced. She's single now. So I'm I'm back in the ball game, Earl. But are you really? <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe you are. I don't know. Mary, I, bought you- a, I bought a ticket to the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> I got a ticket. Uh, yeah. Franklin uh, Sheckler. I love that guy. <laughs> uh, I'll, br- I'll break out my baseball cards. Um, they're in a safety <laughs> deposit box, but I have my Kirby Puckett rookie card right next to me. There's a, this R to get airy wet. <laughs> Ooh, what is that? That is the official number one of one. Earl Skakel wrestling doll. Yeah. <laughs> that I got sweet. for being on the roast of Ric Flair. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is impressive. That is that's nice. That's pretty neat. I think, to be I think so far that's, that's, yeah. All right. Hot. She's wet again. 
What you got? You got something better than that, Greg? I'm a, on the other side of the room, my Frankie Valley autographed uh, album. Hmm. Who knows? Maybe me and Harry can have a date. Where do you live, Harry? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you live? Michigan. Like, the other side. That? Michigan, yeah. Uh, it's a little yeah. far from me, but. Yeah. And that, yeah, I have myself here for a reason because I'm not dating anybody. I'm dating myself. Earl's like, who said anything about a date? Yeah. I didn't say anything about dating. <laughs> I'm not effing anybody either. So. Well, let me know when you are. <laughs> Ray, would you rather diddle Gooch than hang with AJ Fanook? Fanook? Who's AJ Fanook? Oh, that is that you? AJ is right there. Ari Jane. Okay, what? okay, got you. I like AJ how I, can, I meant this way. Whatever, you're producing it. I, I have no, I have no control She's over AJ. that. That's right. We don't. It's your show, Ray. Because you women are shallow as shit. <laughs> That's what. Um, I'm sorry if you weren't able to have any agency over your own body, let alone your fucking finances or like ability to own property, a house, X, Y, and Z. No, he, he was You're acting uh, like we just like got this way for like no, no reason. I'm fucking with, I'm <laughs> fucking with you. Don't I be wasn't even think of cousin IT those says are, he's those are serious allegations. Oh my gosh. Are you saying you were raped? For the first no stop it I right, don't eat while we're doing you this just... you really gotta fucking eat whenever you talk like you were not talking for 10 <laughs> minutes ate nothing they're like hey i'm gonna talk let me put this fucking shit in my mouth <laughs> uh, why did you fucking wait till you're gonna talk to put shit in your mouth what are you doing Harry? be a professional come on get it together race second virginity oh that's a weird <laughs> That's a weird picture of me because I don't remember where that picture I came from. I love that picture of you. I don't know where that's from. That fucking avatar. Sheckler, uh, Sheckler said, like posted that on Twitter. It's such a fucking goof. Like it's the most fucking. You look like su that. What? It, what's the context of that picture, Ray? Tell me about because you're wearing like a red jumpsuit and you're kind of like looking up. I don't bit. know where that's. Uh, like, I, I, I don't know where that came from. Ray, we are proud. Thank you. Don't, don't talk to him like that. Don't talk to him like he's a kid. He doesn't like Who? that. You, right? This, isn't it talking Who to am him? I talking to? Are you no, telling me how to talk to people? What are we doing? You what like is this? You're, you're doing Who a great job, Ray. We're so proud. Or we are proud. <laughs> he doesn't take too kindly to that. Ari, you are doing great, princess. We are proud. Who is this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, you get it? Why that's funny? Probably not. Uh, Ari, you're doing great, princess. We are proud. The the verbiage on that. The how he's talk like when I talk to you, well, it's not that severe. Okay. <laughs> when I say I'm proud of you, Ray, I mean, this is a severe, this example is severe. I don't even know what you call that kind of language I was giving you. I guess I was momming you. Oh, know. you're momming me? Oh. When I do that? I you're know. doing what, what Carol from WATP said you were doing to me? He said you talked down to me like I'm like a child. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did. So it that's was, what you're doing again? <laughs> um, this, did you understand that in the name here, race, like a virginity, please explain? That's, that means you need to explain that. No, no, that, that's his name. That's always his name. He's been around for, yeah. <laughs> he's saying in his name that you need to explain it, why he's saying that, Ray's like second virginity. No, oh. you don't even know this, Ari. Like, Ray's second virginity comes from the uh, mother of four, uh, mother or mother of five, Ray, please explain. It's a joke. For the fact that, like, uh, the lady I lost my virginity to had uh, four kids that were, like, mm. sleeping on the floor of her living room in Bowling Green, Ohio, where I went to college. It's a joke, Ari. It's a joke. That's thank what that for, means. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for clarifying for me. <laughs> I appreciate it. I curse too much. I'm a potty mouth. Mm -hmm. I'm a potty mm -hmm. mouth. I'm like, why are you letting your kids listen to me? I'm a potty mouth, I tell you. I never had pee in my mouth. If a girl peed in my mouth, 
Um, if that's what she was into and I was into her, I was like, I guess if this okay. is what if this is what you want. I'm Do not swallowing you... that. No, I don't want pee in my mouth. No, I was not no. gonna ask to yeah. do that or I um wow, okay. Oh, I've been vaccinated. It's okay. Um, you have a super chat. Yeah, I'm reading my super chat. That's what I'm doing here. Well, I, I Steve C. Oh. I've had I mean, a finger my I've had a finger in my butthole before. He was very gentle. Get it? I heard it. They think I'm gay. That's the joke. I'm not gay. She was a lovely lady who wanted to do it. And you know what? There is a little prostate up there. It does uh yeah. <laughs> You can you can feel it. There's a little prostate up there that uh did she milk you? Tell me, Ray. Did what? she did she milk you? <laughs> yeah, it's like this weird G spot a guy has between the testicles and the butthole, that like little area that if a woman rubs it, it's like the male clit, I tell you. It's like the male clit. It's uh I think that's it's... the prostate. I don't know. I never uh... <laughs> it's a lucky button. Yeah, um, it's, it's the lucky button. That's what mm -hmm. you called it. That's the name of this episode, the lucky button. <laughs> <laughs> the lucky button. That's what. Uh, yeah. But yeah, something about a bidet because I don't see him often. So when I do see a bidet, I'm like, ah. Oh. There's a com <laughs> there's a comedy club in Richmond, Virginia, and they put you up at a hotel that had a bidet. They're probably doing adult things in there. They're making funny sounds and funny adult smells. noises. <laughs> they were probably. <laughs> That's got to be weird, too, because, like, if uh, your kids are literally, like, right in the other bedroom, you can't be too noisy. You got to, like, quietly have sex. That's why you put people's faces in pillows. Yes. There you go. That's what you do. Yeah, I was going to say the weirdest thing a girl ever – I did have a girl that was into hair pulling that would ask me to pull her hair. Mm -hmm. I guess that's a thing that people uh, – So I'm going to say this, man. Um I'm uh I think I'm gonna go to WATP mm -hmm. in Detroit on I think it's the 18th or whatever. And so I'm gonna be in Michigan. Do you want me to go to Battle <laughs> Creek? <laughs> what the fuck? I think it's rude as hell of you to ask this. Here comes your content. Ask me on your podcast, really? Yeah, I don't I'm, know. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea. What it, what even day is that? What do you want to do? You want to go to the park or something? <laughs> <laughs> What's your plan, Stan? You must have one in mind. Let's talk about it out of your podcast. Yeah. Do you you wanna do you wanna hang out? <laughs> I feel like. Um, <laughs> I can't, I can't only what's that like there's nothing worse or there are the worse things, but it's like sitting here and people having in their minds you and I No, it's not getting no, together it's, and yeah. it's just so uncomfortable. Yeah, and, yeah. Like, no, you yeah, did it to I, me. I, I, yeah, yeah. And now I don't even want to share this Melton thing with you because it's like I'm like my buzz is killed. I didn't mean to kill your buzz. I'm so, I'm sorry. The idea of I'm sorry. The idea of me hanging out with you kills your buzz. I'm sorry. I am that. too, but that's not Wait. what it was. It's because how you caught me off guard intentionally for your crowd. I didn't like that. No, where's it Earl wasn't for my crowd. Where's Earl? I came for Earl. <laughs> I'm teasing. I, I I would love to meet with you and um and see you because you are my friend and I haven't seen you in a while. I right, um, will talk of air, but if it, would you want me to come to Battle Creek or not? If you don't want me to, I won't. You don't need to. That does, you don't need. You I don't, don't need, need to. to. No, you don't need to come to Battle Creek. I can beat you. I wouldn't mind jumping out of this town for a second. You know. So. Yeah, that that was not like a. I don't know like, what this is, but it's yeah, like yeah. A, it's making me gulp a lot. <laughs> Yeah, I'd rather I'm talk about I... the color of your underpants or something else. Yeah, no, I'm uh, so I'm gonna go to uh, <laughs> WATP in Michigan. They don't like me, so I'm Ooh. not gonna go. To... Your Who? buddy, Carl Pants. Carl, Carl Pants, 
Candy Carl pants. <laughs> Who's Candy Carl pants? <laughs> That's not gonna call it for now on. No, he he's fine. He's great actually. Um, his advice that he gave, like, cause he like, and we did. We totally came into your podcast and stomped around, <laughs> and jumped on the couch, and acted like maniacs. You know, we did. And we got called out on it, and it wasn't fun to hear, but it was important to hear. <laughs> But um, <laughs> it was fun. I had a good time. Yeah, I was Sweet. just saying. Would you um, would you want me? All right. Do you want to hang out when I'm in Michigan? That's all I was asking. Hey, I, I would love to meet up with you. Absolutely. Hell but yeah! Right. Just like when if I would be in Akron. Which I know the well, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How Anyways. secret you are about when you're in Akron, but yeah, it was just. Uh... Yeah. Um. <laughs> Davis guy, any Cure concerts coming up? Crickets. Hmm. <laughs> 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 um. It's just like. <laughs> What is Carlos? <laughs> what is Carlos no, why don't you just? I just wanted to be like, what yeah, we, you should. The more we do this, the more it's just uh, yeah, yeah. It's gonna go south. It's been going so good. This has been going. Don't put me on the spot with this, Ray. I mean it. It will backfire, and I feel like you want that, and I don't want that. Please, <laughs> please, begging. I guess, but what else do we have to talk about, really? Yeah, so I was I was going to Michigan. I'm gonna to go to Michigan in September. So yeah, you you don't have to say like any details. You just had to be like, yeah, I'd like to hang out with you. That's all you had to say. You didn't have to say fucking because it's every time you hear you say hang out because you equivocate hanging out like <laughs> I don't want to what, talk what, about what, what do I? Yeah, what I? I'll talk to you off the air on about this. Right. I don't want to do this in front of people. I don't. Something else, please. I love chatter. I didn't hear a no, Ray. Anyone with a couch in Battle Creek, Ray can crash. Yeah, I'm going to Detroit. <laughs> Battle Creek's not near fucking Detroit. Why would I have you drive extra? Like why? And when I am up for, I would love to jump out of Jeremy Burns, uh, my musician friend. He's in Detroit. The old, um, he's got this English accent. He's great. I don't know how old he is now, but I can't. I'm just gonna look old. around. Like, do you got this English accent? Are you friends with my friend Ari? You know him. You know him. I would you know. know him. Him. Yeah. Like out of a crowd. And he he moved to Detroit though. But anyway. I'm venting you back to 100 of a out somewhere. It's <laughs> KB. <laughs> KB wants us to go on a date. How about that? <laughs> KB. You should be ashamed KB's... of yourself. <laughs> no, She's KB hilarious. Is a shit. I fucking love She's KB. She's wonderful. You know what? I wanted I to hear more about the ladies. I wanted to hear about their experience at AC. I... Could My she come own... on? So I think you should uh, hook up with Jay, uh, Ray in Detroit and uh, get something started with you two lovebirds. I think you guys yeah, would go everybody, great together. Everybody keeps saying that Ray yeah. and I need to just give know. it a shot. No, connection. there's no. I'm I'm good. Detroit. There might be another. Okay. I get it. <laughs> Ray, be Ray. <laughs> George. Wow. Friend zone in public. Ouch. That's something we'll talk about. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Well, we'll talk about that. You got friends. You're always gonna, always gonna act like a friend to you. You're always going to be my friend. There's, yeah. I think that's awesome. You are just mad because you're not my friend. Who are that f you are? <laughs> yeah. Me. By the way, obnoxious John. Uh, it's a joke. I don't know if you heard this. I uh, let Carl know. W A T P sold out. The second I said I was going to be there, I sold out WATP, and I'm not. Even, I'm just going as a guest, not even on the show. It sold out. See that? Just me being there. I'm. I'm joking. It was going to sell out anyways. Yeah, it was. Because Ari was going to go there, and like, um, like the tickets are sold out. So, oh, Ari, you're not going to be coming to Detroit again. She, she can still <laughs> it's come. Sold out. Yeah, yeah. It's sold out. 
I can stand outside. <laughs> I'm sure maybe Ray could pull some strings. <laughs> so yeah, I'll, 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 let, I'll ask. I'll ask Carl. I don't know. But, I don't like. I don't like. But now I don't, don't want like to put. No, I don't, all right. Now I don't want to. No, now I don't want to put Carl on the spot. Get what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I don't, don't like want, that. I will. I don't want it. It's gonna be. Yeah. I like to take my signs. Uh, yeah, okay, will I, you be just... attending this WATP? <laughs> Yes, I uh, I will be attending. We were actually just talking about that. Um, what our plans are. I think we're going to be streaming uh, probably the next day from Detroit. So WATP is Friday. So Saturday, expect El Horrible, Cardiff Electric, and myself to be doing some streaming live from Detroit. And there you go. And hopefully if Ray is there, which it sounds like he's going to be, we'll maybe, hopefully Ray can join us. I will be there. I will be in Detroit. There's always a show on. Ray. What's up? Who are you most excited to see in Detroit? Who am I most excited to see in Detroit? Who Who are you really hoping to run into and, and chat with in Detroit? I, I never met Carl before in person. So, yeah, Carl would be the guy that I'm looking forward to. Like meeting and hanging out with, I, I like Carl. I, I like Carl a lot. And um, that's uh, wait, Carl, me and Katie. Yeah, I. Uh, Poof <laughs> I've been in a room where Arius farted. It what? Did not smell like fucking <laughs> strawberries. They're fucking gross. <laughs> Why would you even say that? This is insane. I never would have farted in front of you. Not a chance. Nice try, though. Don't fire your comfortable around you. She fucking, nice try. Yeah. Wow, you really got to just make that's me when disgusting, you, don't you? That's when you know a girl likes you when they fart in front of you. Like, like they sit on your lap and fart <laughs> and be like, deal with that. You wish. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. You wish we had that moment, but no, it's her. Trust me. I know who I've cut cheese in front of. It's an honor <laughs> when it occurs. <laughs> Instead, I shared a bed with her and sweated all over the place. I literally like, I'm like, that's fine I'm because that's why I had those moisture wicking cheeks. You, you know, know what I took up. from this whole conversation you guys just had is that you slept with in a woman's bed and did not have sex with her. That's all I heard. That's on her. I would have given it a whirl. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. No, we both was we were not having it. And we were both like, oh my God, we were so drunk. So That's drunk. I just wanted to, to throw that. up. And I had the yes. stains. And he's yes. keeps pull, I keep trying to get space. And he's like, whoop, pull me in. And like, oh my God. I just, I'm just like spinning. I'm like, please. Hey. <laughs> like, oh my God. Oh God. But, and, and everybody's fine. Jesus, Ari. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the. Hell, Jesus Christ! <laughs> the ball's in your court, Ari. That's all I'm saying. The ball's in your court. Uh, I, don't, I don't like balls. Ray, P, Ray. <laughs> I'm so mad right now. Like I'm angry. I'm angry. I'm not gonna lie, and I'm really just kind of. Want to sign off, and I don't have a reason to stay on. Are you being serious? <laughs> yeah, we're having fun. Yeah. This is fun. I love so you, bad. lady. Come on, <laughs> you're drinking coffee. You have like six mm -mm. more hours. No, I'm not drinking coffee. I wish it were whiskey. Honestly, I do miss drinking. Honestly, I do miss drinking. Only when I'm around you miss drinking. <laughs> Tequila, no, no hangovers. That's not true. Well, see, that that's might be true, possible. but you wake up with, with no clothes on, and oh, that's a problem. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's what it took? All I had to do is get you tequila? That's all I had to do? You didn't fucking right. tell me that. Jesus Christ, Ari. I would have got you fucking tequila. That's it. Ari, you should just come to Detroit just to hang come out with to Ray. 
It's only for like a day, you know. I'm not. I'm oh, like, it's I'm only a day. <laughs> like it's only a day. It's. I mean, but it, it, it's probably <laughs> not that far. She was planning on maybe coming anyway. <clears throat> I mean, even if you can't come for the WATP events, you can certainly come for the Cardiff Electric and El Horrible events. Yeah, come, 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 and I, I'll, I'll hit up Carl. There, I'm, I'm. He might be. Like yeah, if it's like I don't want to put him on the no, but yeah. I am dead. I'm so serious when I say this. I like really mean it, and it's not against him. It's, it'd be like same other any other situation, whether it was Carl's event or Bob Levy's event, or it doesn't matter. I don't like the oh hey can I mm -mm, you know shit like I'll pay for it. Yeah, ticket no, no, no. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're still gonna have to pay for a ticket, but we'll see if we can get I you next. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy you. I'm gonna. I don't like strings. Is my point. I'm not a fan of those. Well, people think I don't like vaginas too. People think I don't like vaginas. Like for real. Like when you give me somebody brought a vagina in here, put it away. There's too many fellas in here for this vagina. Please put it away. You brought a vagina to this party. What are you doing? You underestimate me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when uh, when I first met you at Barmacy, did you think like, this is where this is where it would be? <laughs> no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. You'd be like, oh, screw it. I'm going to matinee. That's where I'm going over there. Matinee is awesome. I love that place. Dude, I, I do have this uh, to share with you, OJ. So I was at Barmacy on, that's where she used to be like a bartender and manager at. And I was there on Sunday and Molly, I'm not doxing Molly by just saying her name, but she's yeah. uh, also one of the bartenders there that uh, does the same job that Ari did. And uh, I, I took a picture with me and Molly and I texted it to Ari just out of the blue. And I go, I go, hey man, I go, uh, I go, hey, what's going on? And then I go, hey, man, it's cool. Molly's not mad at you anymore. <laughs> I just put that. Oh, I put that in text message. I showed Molly Such that. She's like, asshole. what the fuck are you doing that for? And she yeah. was like mad at me. Okay. And then Aries like, oh, my God, what are you talking about? What happened? See how women I'm like, what did I do? It was yes, like, I it's know. a fucking joke. No, because... It was a joke. <laughs> they both hated me for doing that. Yes. That's why it was you did it. Clearly a joke. It was clearly a joke. That's why I clearly yeah, love to be clearly. hated. It was no a joke. Way. They love each other. I was just doing that as a fucking joke. And uh yeah, I I just sabotage. It <laughs> it's sabotage. That's what I heard. Um, the balls in your court all zero after right. Ouch. All right. Oh, all right. Jesus. So I know. And you know what the worst thing is when you say shit like that? I can I can tell you probably like when we end exactly what's gonna be clipped the next day. Yeah, everyone loves you, Ari. Nobody they they, they dislike me, if anything. Like I'm no, the one every dude just, watching I don't is like care. thinks Ari I don't is care attractive. Anymore. <laughs> I don't care. And can't understand how you haven't gotten in her pants yet. That's hey, because yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah, letting yeah, yeah. Because all the balls are dangling right in my court. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> okay. They're just bouncing away. Also, the, it's also weird. Like, let's say like we <laughs> we do dates. That's, I don't want people. That's, I don't even like, want to see just, you. It's right. like it's, it's just frustrating. Out like the whole idea, and then people like, oh, yeah, in. oh, she's flirting with Ray, and, oh, they're fucking, and all this. It's like, it's enough to make me go, no, it's not worth it to me. It's like seriously irritating. <laughs> <sighs> well, but, I love you, lady, in every capacity, so it's all good. Barrister fourteen to one, Ray's best pickup line. This, yeah, Franklin Shuckler's great. Um, what else was I gonna fucking say to? Yeah, so who's um yeah, you gotta come to Detroit. Eric you gotta come to Detroit, man. I realize this. Yes, so we're gonna I fun. will. Yeah, we're gonna have fun. <sighs> Sam Adams is here. He owns a brewery. 
I'm really scared. I got the Delta Miles. Question is, do I have to go to a ter to terrible Detroit? Or are you coming to beautiful Boston? Airy side note. Ray is the worst. <laughs> Good it's okay. <laughs> I, I, I'm in the airy I'm in the uh airy, airy chain business. That's what I am. I am okay. Um, yeah, mm. man. Um, all right. What else we wanna I'm gonna get ready to wrap up. I'm Would you freak out if you found out that Husey and I have been like talking a lot? In what capacity? <laughs> Ouch. I'm such a dick. No, we've not at all. I just I just wanted to I don't know. You mess with me, I mess with you. It's good nature driving. Yeah, Ray, will you be getting laid in Detroit? Um, I don't know. I, I think Aries come and hang out, so Yeah, but she's I heard she <laughs> I heard that ship had sailed. She's she's not into you like that anymore. Greetings, dabblers. We are here in Detroit at the Magic. What is this place called? Magic Bag? Oh, my God. I'm going to die. I'll save the camera. It's you die. Cardiff Electric, sort of. Cardiff is looking extra creepy today. OJ has a GoPro going. Ray DeVito! Ray, who are you wearing? Who are you wearing, Ray DeVito? Hugo Boss. I'm wearing Hugo Boss. And the New York Giants. Uh, Ray is wearing Hugo Boss. And the New York Giants. Fantastic. We need light. Yeah. We should have brought a light. There's a good look at what Cardiff Electric is just like. What a bunch of doors. What a bunch of doors. Ray DeVito. Look at all these doors. Who are you most excited to see here tonight, Ray? Uh, Tukey, my illegitimate son. Tukey, yes, another Tukey. Another answer for Tukey. Myrtle, who are you most excited to see here tonight? Oh, that old oh, another Tukey. Yeah, we call him Christmas Turkey. I don't know how to return. Can I amend my answer? Yes. My, I am most excited to see Ray DeVito. Oh. And I asked him if he found a place to stay. I said, he was like, whoa, 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 whoa. You're talking to the, the fans who come here to pay the extra money. <laughs> and you're talking to each other. Ray was happy. <laughs> Damn, he's been happy to see. Ray was offended that I asked him if he found a place to stay. Like, it's all like, why would you ask me that? <laughs> Damn, thank you for being a member for, member for three months. Your milkers look fantastic. How dare you? You can't see them. There's Harry Jane. It's Harry Jane, everybody. That's how you score points. You're supposed to talk to the fans, not the people you know. All right. All right. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm like past time people actually know me. That's true. Yes, people are excited to see Ray. Excited to see Ari Jane. Everyone's a celebrity here at the Dabbleburg. Insanity. I wish there was more light. Oh, let's go. Over here. Get out of here, Ray. Oh, Ray, you have to get this from... Carl, but I mean, he's busy right now. So. I'm on the show. Yeah, he's a performer. Yeah. Okay. So there's beers can't go out. Go out that behind you. God damn it, Ray. Of course, beers can't go out. All right, let's go. Okay. Let's, let's Don't throw this beer out, please. Yep. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> 300. Who are you guys excited to see? Oh, wow, there's a lot of people here. This is crazy. This is fantastic. Look at all the people. Who are you most excited to see tonight? Finny. Finny. That's one for Finny Paulino. See, who, you have one fan, Finny. Who, who are you least uh, happy to see tonight? I... Oh, this is Ray DeVito, everybody. Nobody, the great nobody. Ray DeVito. <laughs> no? Hey. Nobody did. Yeah, I don't hey. know. Yeah. Ray DeVito, everybody. The great Ray DeVito. All right, I'm going to go back inside. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fantastic! Yeah. Who else is making all stars? Stop touching Who's everyone, Ray. Cousin Verlander. All right, JV. Do you know who that man is? Yes. Yes. No, <laughs> no, okay. Yeah, yes, no. that's funnier. Say no. Yes. Fantastic. Who? Uh, I dare ask. Who are you most excited to see tonight? Two K. Who are you least excited? To Do you see? know who this man is? This man no. is touching you. <laughs> On what? Even though you didn't want him to or ask him to. Do you know who this is? You just got touched by the great Ray DeVito. You should be privileged. Fantastic. 
Dog, no, stop it. Ray DeVito is in the next room. He's getting ready. Uh, we think. No, he's actually he just woke up. We're not sure if Ari Jane is alive or dead. She disappeared at some point. We have no idea about the whereabouts of Mary Ari Jane, except we might know where her stuff is, which is creepy. But we don't know where she is. She's missing. Uh, but I do have an update. I just went next door while I was away. I knocked on Ray's door. Uh, he, he just left a sign on the door. Gone to Costco to buy bleach. I'm not sure why Ray DeVito needed Costco-sized bleach bottles, but who knows? It could be anything. Chris, Chris Mack, Mack, thank you for the 199 Potato power. Yes. Thank you. Uh, yes. Ari did go leave with Ray last night. And uh, apparently she's still she's still somewhere, but uh, we think she might be in pieces. A large percentage of her is still in Detroit. Yes, yes. Her, her torso is at least we believe somewhere in the Dearborn area. Uh, Richard McCormick, thanks for being a member for two months. Did Ray get any ass? I doubt. Yeah. It. Good question. Good question. That's, That's kind of what, what we're, we're all wondering, wondering, and we're waiting for Ray to wake up. But again, we doubt. It. And parts of Ari Jane might be in the bathtub. Oh, you think that's Ray? Yeah, we just heard a door close. Oh, oh. It's either Ray or the police. Maybe the coroner. I don't know. Could be anybody. That, oh, oh, yes. Oh, it's oh, both of you. We're, we're streaming, streaming though. Oh, oh, you don't want. Yeah, yeah. Go over there, though. It seems, you know. All right. Hold on, everybody. We have a special guest here. Who is that? Who could it be? I don't know. No, no, no one can see. I'm so excited. It's Harry Jane, everybody. She's alive. She is alive. Congratulations on surviving, Harry Jane. We were all worried about you. We were very worried about you all night. I was worried about myself. You were worried about <laughs> you. Were wor Oops. Sorry. You were oh, God. God. You were worried about yourself. Why? Why? Um, no, no, just, just a, a different, different place. place. Sleeping in a different place and around so, different people. Just, yeah. Ah, the people. So the location wasn't necessarily a problem. The people might have been the problem. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, yeah, I had fun last night. It was a good time. It was. It was. Fantastic. And now that Ari Jane is alive and not murdered, Everyone is feeling that much better. We have well, no idea if you took her away to murder her. Be dabbler, don't make statements like that. The the, the day is young. There's still time. <laughs> that could, yes, that could there's still time. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, KB, thank you for the five dollars. Ari, looking adorbs, even hungover. The people love you, Ari. Everyone was very excited to see Ari last night. Mm -hmm. My, My mom, mom was very excited to see Ari last night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My mom your, follows all this crap. Your mom's friend, too, was very excited. They had a great time with Ari Jane last night at the bar. Yes, everyone did. Um, and then Ray took her away. We thought to murder her, but thankfully, she is okay. I tried. Allegedly. Allegedly. You tried? Um, for the $2, Ari has a post-coitus glow. No, she does not. Stop it. Do you know what they're saying there, Ray? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Fucking. A what? She does has great skin. I'm sorry. I have to like keep muting and unmuting and. Are there are there any skin products that you can recommend to get such great skin? Smack 199. Did Ray poop wood again when Ari Jane hugged him? Oh, pop wood. Popped wood. Yeah. I popped wood when everyone, when, uh, everyone hugged me. I popped wood. So that's just a thing I do. Yes. Don, thank you for the 199. Is Ari being held prisoner? Not anymore. She's safe here with us. Blink twice if you need help, Ari Jane. Blink twice. Blink twice. But, uh, yeah, last night we were not sure, and that's why we were going to run with the missing Ari Jane saga and just assume that she was murdered and cut up into pieces in Ray's bathtub. Franklin it was a costume. It was stuffed. It's a costume. It's a gimmick. It's a fat suit. <laughs> Franklin Sheckler, thank you for the $5. Is 
is this a what not to do industrial film for first year audio engineering students question for Ari. did ray take you to dinner yet <laughs> we we went to dinner i went to buy uh, her dinner and um the the jerry uh bought everybody dinner so who i, I got to where was i where did i not get this dinner who's jerry Oh yeah, Ray took a road trip to the Kinky Loco house. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that Jerry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. How yeah, was that? Was that was, that was, that was awesome. awesome? But yeah, I tr I tried to buy her dinner, and then he did it. So I just left uh, a tip. I did a nice tip. That's fantastic. That's Tell it, yeah. about the house, though, for real. I don't know. Oh, Ray, did you find any spots in Detroit tonight? Will you be performing? Uh, uh, no, 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 we're gonna head back. Dave Daffler, two dollars. Airy rape kit sold in the lobby vending machine. Stop it. That's what I was telling. Uh, because you know, there was some some you know, people were like, Where where's Airy? Ray just took her away. And I was like, she could not be more safe with anyone than to be with a drunken Ray. Right? <laughs> yeah, I she was fine. Yeah, Eric, you want to comment? No. <laughs> I don't know. Ari, Ari did seem to be forcefully removed from the pub last night. It was it, it was a little uncomfortable, Ray. What do you say to those rumors that she was forcefully removed from the pub last hey, night? I paid that guy good money to forcefully remove her. So, you were the yeah. guy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's good to see Ari in one piece and breathing. That's nice. Steve Z, thank you for the $5. Ray is actively ignoring his instinct to strangle when a real girl's in the room. Good job, Ray. That's good, buddy. Yeah. You're doing great. You're you notice great. if you notice progress, it's progress. It's progress. If you notice Ray has an elastic band around his around his wrist, he has to snap it every time he gets the urge. <laughs> it's working so far so good we shouldn't be having this much fun as 40 something year olds <laughs> said the serial rapist hack ride two dollars airy smell tukey and tell us what it smells like i don't even think tukey's in here and she wait do you and know she what knows what that smells like <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> One point I saw. So I'm looking for a $45 and up super chat to pay for my parking ticket. We got it. I'll send it to you. Dr. Chow, the Mega G199. Don't be laying hands on Airy Jane, Ray. The Mega G is coming to protect Airy Jane. There you go. Hey, Ray. Keep your hands off AJ, bro. Okay. <laughs> you could have you could have put that in the chat pretty simply. You didn't need to call for that, chow. All right, well, as, as long as you understand, bro, then then we're cool. All right, thank you, Mega G. We have been graced by the presence of the Mega G. Thank you, Mega G. Clay Dabbler, thank you for the two pounds. Is Ari going to turn into a into a Tuki now? Sorry, no, she is not. She is not. She's allergic to that dumb cum. It makes her break out in hives. Dave Daffler, thank you for the $2. It's just a really, it's a really fun, fun weekend. weekend. Dave, Daffler, Dave Daffler, thank you for the $5. Ari is trying, or uh, Ari is tying sheets together and eyeing the balcony. <laughs> we have no balconies, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, where, where do you think we're staying, sir? <laughs> yeah, we, we are not. Uh, yeah, we do not have uh, any balconies. Uh, and Ray, we're driving, driving, yeah, driving, driving with, with the with selfie the stick. <laughs> okay, Ray, the next WATP live event that you latch yourself onto and force your way into, will you let us pay for your <laughs> pay for your hotel room, but we get to wire it up with cameras? Not in the bathroom. We'll leave you the bathroom, but we wire up your entire hotel room, twenty four seven live stream, Ray's room. Ray, will you commit to that right now? Oh yeah, of course. Of course. David Skywalker. Thank you for the two dollars, Ray. As a joke, look into Ari's eyes and say, "I love you." <laughs> I, I don't think Ari wants that. <laughs> no. Were you mad at me? 
Uh, yesterday when I made the joke, Ray, isn't there something you want to ask a lovely lady in the audience here tonight? No, they had no <laughs> idea what was going on. Kinky they're like, they're like, where, where, where's that Drew and Mike? Who are these idiots? <laughs> yeah, but unfortunately, when you made that joke, there were 47 women that were like, oh, fuck, is it me? Ari <laughs> <laughs> Jane, what are you doing? I'm going into deep hiding. She's going into deep <laughs> hiding. Fantastic. <laughs> you might. No, no, no. Don't don't give him an alibi. Yeah. Yes, right. Yeah. What now? Oh, God, you gave Ray exactly what he needed. Ari Jane, do you. Uh, do you uh, are you happy that you came out to this? Did you have fun? I, I am. Um, I am happy. I think I need to work on my social anxiety a little more, but I think the people uh, are amazing and awesome, and uh, I'm, I'm very grateful I came to this. Too. Well, we think you're amazing and awesome, and people, <laughs> yes, people were very excited to see you. Like I said, my mom and her friend were very excited to see you. Very, imp very enamored with Ari J. Yes. Yeah. They were so excited. You were their little celebrity. <laughs> and uh, you're a wonderful person. And thank you for hanging out with us and being such a good sport when we goof on things like <laughs> saying that Ray's going to put his limp little wiener in you and all that kind of stuff. So thank you for dealing with that. <laughs> and, and also thank you for accepting the limp wiener. Yes. <laughs> uh, Ray, did you thank Ari Jane this morning? <laughs> Uh, I'm happy Ari Jane came out. It was a lot of fun. This is awesome. Uh, I think I got to check out of my hotel room. Okay? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Go get your stuff ready and go get checked out. Uh, yeah, we were. Yeah, we hung out the, the whole time. We had a great time. We had a great time. And then also um, we got to hang out with. Uh, and by the way, people that saw her on the stream that she she didn't have to be on that stream. She wanted to be on that stream. Um, that we did with uh, El Harible, OJ, and Cardiff. Like, she wanted to do it, too. Like, she was there. People were like, she looks so uncomfortable. She doesn't want to be there at all. Like, no, she wanted to be there. She loved all those people. And we had a great time. We went to lunch uh, right afterwards. And uh, El Harible was treating all of us. And then Cardiff Electric came in and s stole the bill. Stole the bill and uh, took care of it. And then... El Harible wanted to fight him because of it, because he wanted to do it. And then uh, Cardiff goes. Um, yeah, I, I, I got a girl flowers recently, and she was appreciative of it. So, oh, at least to my at least to my knowledge, maybe she was just saying. Uh, did she lose her shit, or did she like? No, I know. put the wrong. I put the wrong day on the card. I said. Uh, I think it was a, a Friday, and I'm like, happy Saturday. So the, the wrong day. That's the first thing. Is, you know, that you know shouldn't make wrong. any difference. That, that yeah, should, yeah. I'm sure that shouldn't make any difference. That's how difference. attention to detail I was. I, I yeah. fucked up the one thing I could control. The one thing. We I also wanted to address this, too. Um, as people were saying this, by the way, uh, Ari, I, 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 I like it. Everyone be nice to Ari. People are giving me shit like, oh, you say be nice to her. You're saying that sarcastically. No, I legitimately mean be nice to her. She's one of my best friends for four fucking years. You know, right now, I think it's healthier for me not to talk to her and healthy for her not to talk to me. But she's one of my best friends for four years. Every one of you should be friends with her. She's a fantastic person. Just right now. her. So, yeah, I, I did not like Kevin. That's why I called in. When I heard that from Brennan, and I only knew him because Ari texted me, but uh, everyone be nice to her. That that's that's all I'll say. Yeah, that's what I kind of said today too. Was like, fuck, she's just, been just be nice, nice as hell to everyone I know, and I don't. Yeah, I don't think anyone should have an issue with her. She's never no. done anything to anybody, so like, yeah, definitely, she's cool. I think. yeah. So the Ari, that's between me and Ari. No one else. So everyone be nice to her. I'm not, this isn't like all this podcast where you got to pick a side, which side you want. No, everyone be fucking nice. Everyone be a fucking human being. I've never been. Yeah. I've never been like, go, go, go fuck this person. Go fuck. Everyone be nice. It's all right. Like it'll be all right. That's all I'm saying. Uh, by the way, by the way, Jake, like I, I don't hate every Jane and I love that you guys are friends. I think that's awesome. You know what I mean? You know, like yeah. one day there could be a day where Ari and I are like friends again. But right now it's at a point where, yeah, we don't really, yeah. I, I wish her the best. I'm never going to, 
I don't yeah. know. I don't know if you notice about me, but I, you know, I, don't, hate I don't hate people. It's, you know, the only thing I do regret, and I don't want to bring her name up because I don't know. I don't know what's going on in her life anymore. But I get text messages from Ari Jane, and I see that um, every now and then she'll ask me things about like. Did you like? I think, and I I get what's going on because I see it in people in NLO chats will say something, and then she takes that as that's real, and then text him. She always did that, and then listen. So I hope Patrick clips this and plays this on his show, so she will see it. I don't know what's going on in your life. Don't believe every. No offense, just because I see, uh, I don't know what's like. Yes, I guess somebody said something. Uh, um, personal that she like lost the house or something or got evicted as I, she was texting about that someone said that and I, I, I don't know what's going on in her life so no no so clip that and give it to patrick so she can see that i have no idea what goes on in your life don't uh so no that's not me so yeah clip it so she sees that i have no idea what's going on in your life if someone says something just know it's not me i have no fucking idea what's going on in your life so but it is a bummer that she takes a guy who I met two. I have nothing against Patrick, and I do think I don't think Patrick hates me. Uh, I don't think he hates. I, I I think I make good content for him, and yeah, it's, he does very well making fun of me, and that's awesome. Good for him, but at the same time, uh, he's met me twice in fifteen years. Twice in fifteen years, maybe two hours we've spent together. Ari, we've spent. We were like. Pretty good friends for four and a half years. We spent multiple nights together. Um, I think you would know me better. <laughs> so don't believe just because something saying someone's saying something for content. Don't. Yeah. All right. It's the last time I'm addressing her. I'm just saying that. So if she, if someone clips it and sends it to her, she knows. I don't know what the fuck's going on in your life. So you you can quit texting me about what some random person says in the chat room. It's not me. I don't know anything going on. All right. Enough about that. All right. But try not to trip over your balls on your way to get another beer, boss. Um, I'm not. I haven't even finished this one. I've been just so. I, that was not a rant. It was just a weird text message I got that I just wanted to address. So hopefully Patrick clips it so she sees it. John Russ, right? Who's the number one person you're the most pissed at right now? I'm not pissed at anyone, dude. I'm 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 seriously not pissed at anyone. The only one that like kind of hurt me in this whole thing is probably. And I'm not even pissed her, but like, um, would probably be airy. I'll be honest, probably airy, just for the fact that she was like a good friend of mine, and I get it. Like, she was a good friend of mine because, like, I was like the 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 big guy on campus in Cleveland Akron comedy scene, and then when she saw this other thing, and like saw other people say like she pretend like she didn't know me at all and like what well you are this guy that they say uh, nobody likes onions or whatever and it's like yeah so that's probably who's most disappointed in in the this whole thing so yeah i would say that i'm not pissed at her but yeah i had to cut her off uh yeah i did not respond to her text messages anymore where she'd be like just like this like uh, like just someone like, why is this Rayan saying this about me? Or why is this Felton Mully saying this about me? It's like, I don't know who these people are. And they're in not even my chats. They'd be in other people's chats saying something. And it's like, I don't watch that pocket. I don't know who that person is. I don't know. Just ignore them. It's like, you don't watch anything that I'm involved in. It's like, yeah. So that's probably the most frustrating. So I get it. I guess me dealing with that is probably what Carlos Danger feels like dealing with me. And I, I love that fucking guy. And I wish her the best. I do wish her the best. Don't AJ her. She's cute, Ray. T like the letter. Is that Team Star What's he mean by AJ? What's he mean to AJ? Uh, no, that's a girl that I used to... Uh, a girl that I went on some dates with that used to be on the pot. She's not in comedy at all. She was a bartender oh. at a place I would do comedy. Oh. So, yeah. so you, got, you got your date on the podcast. Yeah, don't do that. Don't bring personal <laughs> life into the podcast world. Don't. That she was not in stand up. She wasn't in comedy. She jumped on the podcasts and it was fine. But then, yeah, 
Flew a little too close to the sun. Flew a little too close to the sun with that. And <laughs> would you ever, would you ever date a girl, have her be on the podcast, break up with her, and then continue to have her on the podcast? She's welcome to do the podcast at some time, but um, yeah, not, yeah, don't. Is she still a podcaster? What? Is she still a podcaster? No, she wanted to get into podcasting because I was podcast. I don't know what she's doing now. I don't. But no, she's not in. She was not in a comedy podcasting at all. And she wanted to get into podcasting. And yeah, I wish her the best. I hope it's. I hope it's all good. I hope it's all good. Party. Scary times. Well, to give an example, like when Every Jane did um, MLC. Have you guys have you guys patched up at all, or any? any... I, I, I wish I, I wish her the best, but like it, it's best set. Like I don't. But when she did MLC way back when. The title for MLC was not flattering to her. And she's like, hey, this is not flattering. This like she was upset with the title. And I hit up Kevin and Adam and they immediately changed it. Yeah, let's uh get some hot sauce. And then why not? Ari Arijane.com, A-E-R-I-E-J-A-N-E.com for uh famous ex-husbands, uh goat milk soaps and deodorants. Uh uh, if, if you say, you, I don't know if she'll still give you the discount, but I like the deodorants, but yeah, tell them you were sent there by Rock Bottom Podcast. And also Kate Meany, um, she's great and she's going to be around. She's got to not be so sensitive about stuff. I'm going to talk to her to be, not be, so, if you want to be in this world. Yeah. She's got to be like, uh, life sensitive if she wants to, you, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's something. I got to talk to her about. It. She's got to be like less sensitive about uh, about stuff. If you want to be in this world, you can't be sensitive. If I was sensitive about everything, and then also like, yeah, you guys already saw the frustrations I had to go through looking out for a sensitive person that was a uh, a personal friend of mine while they wanted to be in this world. Like it's like so. And I, I, I wish them the best and support them and whatever they do. But yeah, they should not be in this world if they're going to be that sensitive about every every little thing. So you, you, you got to chill out. Ray, second virginity. Ray, what sense of person were you looking out for? I don't know. I don't know. I, that, that was... What sensitive person was I looking out for? I don't know. I... I have no. Oh, uh, are you talking about like Kevin Brennan? So I had no idea. I think I talked about this earlier in, in this show, um, but uh, maybe this is what you're referring to. So I have no idea what the thing that Kevin wanted. So I don't. Uh, is that answer? I don't know. I might have not answered your question. I'm a fucking idiot. But love chatter. Race second virginity. No explanation needed. Do you think maybe? She wasn't oversensitive at all, and it was just your inherent instinct to be disrespectful, controlling, and abusive to women. I don't know what you're talking about, but I try not to be whatever. Um, yeah, I try not to be, so my apologies if someone took me that way because that's never what I intend to be. Ray, second Virginia, would you like to apologize to a certain lady? We'll call her AJ for calling her oversensitive and fault accusations you made against her. I don't know. Uh, I didn't make any fault. She's a nice lady. Be nice to her. Be nice to her. Everyone be nice to her. She's a great person and she's a great lady. I didn't make any. Nothing happened between me and her. We're, we're just friends. We hung out before she got married and did nothing. We made out a couple times. That's it. There's no, nothing else happened between her and I ever. She was a good friend of mine for like six years. She's one of my best friends for like six years. Uh, any lies about making out with Ari Jane today? No. I haven't thought. I wish Ari Jane the best. I hope she's doing fucking great. But I have not seen or thought about her in a while. She was a 
one of my best friends for five years, so I'm always going to wish her the best. Everychain.com, buy her ex-husband's famous deodorants, and wish her the best. Uh, I got to do a new yeah. album this year. And shout out to Every Chain. That's one of the places where I could go every Sunday and do stand-up comedy, and they would give me like uh, 15 minutes for me to do whatever, and that was great. That's That place in Akron, Ohio got me um got me ready to do my my specials when i just got back to ohio Ray, say something nice about aj without lying i i don't they're talking about Ari jane i like Ari jane i get like um i i she's a nice she was like a good friend of mine for like years but yeah when yeah, she'd be too sensitive about stuff, and then I'd have to hear about it. And then when I would like stick up for, all right, I'm supposed to say something nice. Uh, she's a nice person. If you meet her for the first, Does she time, smell good. Yeah, her See? her soaps and deodorants. Are great. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, her I, 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 and deodorants I, are great. That's right. Yeah, I'm a good plug to go yeah. with it. Dual purpose. I and I wish her the. I really do wish her the best. I hope everyone's nice to her. And I, I do wish her the best. I, I want nothing but the best for her. And that's true. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm saying that, I'm not saying that facetiously. I'm saying that honestly. I do. Uh, I see someone in the chat was say asking. Say something nice about AJ and not call her sensitive. Um, She's a great mom. She loves her daughter very much. She's a great mom. That's a compliment. That's the highest compliment you could say to a mother. Right? Peace. <laughs> Peace. No, someone is, <laughs> oh, someone here he goes right on to Ray hates Freddie Webb. Just on his way, always. Jesus Christ, what did I do? Oh, what did I do here. that make you think? Uh, Ready Whip didn't leave us. Thank yeah. God. Thank God for that. Uh, just I roll all these. Who's my friends that I'm trashing? <laughs> God damn it! And then the only time I did like call them late at night is because I put up the thumbnail for the BS show, and Ari was in the thumbnail. And this is back when Ari and I were like good, and like Ari wasn't happy to be in the thumbnail. She's like, "What's that all about?" No. So then I had to call, and then he's like, "Yeah, so this guy's calling me at like." Two o'clock. It was like eleven thirty. He's like, "This guy's calling me. I got kids. I got this. I got." So it's like, I was like, it's more like, can you not put like, if you want to make fun of me, this is what I said to everyone in those scenarios. I'm like, if you want to make fun of me, fine, go ahead, but just leave the people in my personal life out of it. Just leave them out of it. Just. It's a Ray second virginity. Say a nice thing about Ari Jane. She's a great mom. I said that. And don't lie and claim she asked you to call Shuley at 11 p.m. over the video thumbnail. She never asked me. I said that. She she never asked me to not do that. I, I did that. I did that. I called. I never denied that. So I don't know what you're saying. No. Yeah, you, were, you felt compelled to uh, protect her the best you could, yeah. right? Yeah, no, because she's been in show titles before, before that and stuff where she was not happy. And at no time did she ever say, hey, call this person and say something to him. She never did that. But yeah, she had let me know that she was not happy that such and such was there. And she never asked me to do anything. And I was like, and I did that on my own. I did that on my own. I fucking did that on my own. Yeah. No one asked me to do that. No one asked me to do anything in regards to that. Thank you, Ray Second Virginity. Um, Ari Jane is here. Hello, Ari Jane. Congratulations on winning. I don't know if you wanted to win the award, but you won uh, uh, Best Broad, uh, <laughs> the Rock Bottom Podcast. Uh, but thank you for all the times you've been on the podcast. We had great times. And um, happy new year to you, my dear. And uh, everyone, uh, follow her and whatever. 
a a a endeavors what are they the adventures endeavors and how do you how do you pronounce that endeavors word? endeavors yeah. that's future what i was going endeavors. for dude. future endeavors man and i still wear her uh i don't know if she's still doing the if it's still up on everyjane.com but check it out i still wear the deodorant i fucking dig it it's my favorite deodorant i'm a giant she's fan a good of egg we she's wish her well egg. she's a good egg i wish her well uh and yes and uh, I think you can find her on Jake Hudson's podcast too. And um, I think she does Jake Hudson's podcast too. So yes, I, thank you guys both. But yeah, congrats, Ari. Do you think it's odd AJ came back to the Dabbleverse as soon as word spreads that you got laid? Straight answer only. No, I saw that. And also I saw that. And not only that, but like, um, uh, I didn't watch MLC. Set. I was actually at a show. It was at a late night show in Cleveland. But yeah, I saw that they sent me the link at like midnight. I guess the show went on for like two in the morning or whatever. But uh, yeah, no, I don't. She can come back to the. I don't care if she's in the Davo verse. I mean, I, I don't. I don't. Would I go on the show if she's on it? I'm not opposed to it, but like I saw that. And then like, even if I was home. And she was on it. I'd rather like. I'm like, eh. I, I I don't need to go on. If she's on, I don't need to go on. I like her. I, I wish her the best. I wish her well. But Mr. Rapey, Miss Ray, AJ said Chow is cool, and you're the creepy one. Oh, that's what you want to be. Yes, yes, that's uh. Sh sure, lady who I never tried to hook up with. Uh, someone asked me um, in a super chat, I think it was Mr. Rapey, Mr. Ray, about Aerie and him. And I just said, yeah, I guess there's like some weird vibe or whatever. And then he made a video of Aerie saying like, no, there's no, but yet. And then she said like, yeah, we had this big podcast thing that we were going to do. It's going to be the two of us. We we're going to do this big podcast thing. And then it was like mysteriously over after two episodes. Okay. So you just put the math out there. So if you want to ask Ari or Dr. Chow, whatever happened between them, that's for them. That's for them to sort out. They can sort that out. Whatever it is that they um, wanted to sort out, that's on them. So don't ask me about them. But yes, obviously there was something that was not right that one of the two of them called it quits after what? One, two, three episodes? Like immediately. It was like grand opening, grand closing. So something went weird between them. I don't know. So. Yeah, what the fuck is this thing going on with fucking uh, BYB? By the way, if this is a real thing with fucking Airy Jane, she, that fucking, let's get real. If that's a real thing, that fucking cunt used the fuck out of me. That fucking attention-seeking whore. Want to talk about fucking Ari Jane? She showed up to my fucking work event. She inflated herself. First, she was like, hey, I'm going to come to Detroit. I'm coming to Detroit. I'm getting my own fucking room. Only because people brought this up. If this is a real thing that's going on. She fucking inflated herself to my fucking work event, which is fine. I was fine that she fucking did that. All right. I was fine that she that she fucking invited herself to. I had no problem with her inviting herself to my fucking thing. But then to like try to like throw like I'm fucking in charge. Like my schedule is now her schedule. Like get out of here. She wanted to stay at the bar. She could have stayed at the bar. Yeah. I, just there's a reason why she's been married three times. And not one of those marriages has lasted longer than fucking six weeks. You see the fucking common denominator there? Who is it? That fucking gap tooth fucking bitch. That's who's the fucking common denominator. Yeah, I'm done. I'm I'm done. I blocked her from my phone a long time ago. I fucking got rid of her out of my fucking life. She's gone. Fucking yeah. What 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 fucking's wrong with your head? You fucking okay. So you have a husband who's got a fucking deodorant company. Then you fucking start your own deodorant company and call it like ex husband like the same shit that he does. Get out of here, man. She can fucking, yeah. And then she's mad, like, oh, my daughter has an OnlyFans, and people are not cool about that. Yeah, well, why the fuck you bring your daughter's OnlyFans into the situation? So, yeah. Screw her. Screw her.
Yeah, she can fucking obnoxious John was there the whole time. Obnoxious John, you were there in Detroit. Fucking jump on this shit. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was in Detroit. I was at a work event. I had a few beers. I'm like, I'm not driving home drunk. So I'm like, I'm leaving now. And that was it. That was it. Yeah. So um, yeah, that fucking like pisses me off just seeing stuff like, oh, yeah, she can fucking go fucking kick rocks. There's a reason why every dude in her life fucking kicks, kicks her to the fucking curb. You know what? Her fucking ex-husband didn't leave fucking Ohio. She did. I still see her ex-husband. I see him. He didn't leave fucking Ohio. He didn't leave the state. She did. Who's fucking crazy? Hmm? Who's crazy out of the two of them? One of them leaves the state. One of them doesn't. You tell me. So. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm like, yeah. And then Dr. Chow fucking trolling him. Yeah, the fact that, like, she was doing a podcast with Dr. Chow. They did one fucking episode. One fucking episode they did together. That was it. One fucking episode. And then he was like, peace out. Yeah. Or, no, she was like, peace out. I was. She's like, what's his deal? I'm like, I don't know his deal. I don't know his fucking deal at all, dude. I'm like, I don't know his fucking deal at all. All I know is that they got their own fucking, I go, I don't know that guy. He might be a little weird. And then they quit. And then she was like, I never said I quit. This is all on Ray. I just made this members only since we're getting fucking real here. Yeah. I just made this members only. We just switched over to members only. So, yeah, so she can go ahead with her own fucking shit. Go ahead with her own fucking life. Make your ex-husband's fucking deodorants. Get, get out of here. You invited yourself to my fucking event, and then you're going to fucking manipulate me? Tell me what I'm going to do and what I can't do? Get out. What? Get out of here. Fucking kick rocks. Yeah. So I am fine with that. So yeah, I, I I'm just fucking um I'm fucking uh happy that she is fucking <laughs> oh we're just going like apparently she's she's over there talking about uh, saying anything negative about me. Screw that. I was nothing but nice at lady. Like I said, the first um she had a thing for me. She was the one that was like fucking chasing me around or whatever. I didn't really show much interest. She kept showing interest. Kept showing. I was like, all right, let's see what's up. So then we went. We fucking hung out. Yeah, you don't fucking invite yourself to someone's work event and then think that uh, everything that they do, um, you're in charge of. You're not my girlfriend. You're not my fucking wife. Like, you're upset because I fucking left? Get the fuck out here. Yeah, so now I have to go through. Yeah, so Dr. Chow can go shit himself. Uh, yeah, ask Dr. Chow and Mary Jane why they fucking hate each other. I don't know why they did one episode. She's like, who is this guy? I'm like, I don't know. He accused my 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 friend Kevin Brennan of uh, having sex with an underage uh, Sarah Silverman. Doesn't seem to be that fucking uh, well-to-do. I just wanted to sit here and talk about... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I got balls. That's exactly what's going on. That's exactly what it is. Like, yeah, I'm not letting someone sit there fucking someone shows up to my fucking event. Fucking obnoxious John was there the whole fucking time. I'll tell you, there's nothing, there's fucking nothing. Nothing. I didn't. Yeah, like I had to fucking cater to her. Like, get out of here. I'm like doing do my own. We're like fucking roommates. That was it. Not nothing at all. So yeah, she can she can go on and kick rocks. She can do whatever the fuck she wants. But I am fucking not having any part of that shit. Um. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm just like I'm. I'm done with someone like fucking giving me. I'm just done with someone giving me like shit for like no fucking reason. It's like. So, yeah, I will fucking, 
Yeah, I'm, uh, she said you were, I, I never, I never made out with her. I mean, I made out with her and stuff like before in Ohio, but like in Detroit, no, I, nothing, nothing. I hugged her when I met her and that was it. That was it. So whatever the fuck is, if that's a real thing that's going on where she's like trying to say something about me, you fucking attention grabbing whore. I get it. That's who you are. That's what you're about. You fucking want fucking attention. And that's what you want. But yeah, no, someone said like she's going on a podcast talking about me. Like, uh, okay, there's nothing to talk about. There's nothing that fucking happened between you and me. Yeah, if anything, you tried making moves on me and I was back when I didn't give a fuck. And I was like, all right, whatever. And then the one night I hung out with you at your place and that was it. We hung out and then that's it. We made out, whatever. We fucking slept in the same bed, whatever. Uh, I was a little annoyed because like I, at the time, what, 48 years old or whatever. And I'm like, all right, I'm not here to play sleepover with a friend of mine. I was like, this is stupid. So I was done with her. I was like, I was like, I'm done with her. All right. She can go on with her life. I'll go on my life. Peace. And I didn't like, and even she will admit, I didn't talk to her for fucking, I didn't talk to her for fucking uh, like three months after that. I didn't talk to her for fucking three months after that. Because I was like, all right, whatever. I'm like, I'm an adult. I'm not here to fucking play like, uh, like we're not sophomores in high school. It's not like, all right, let's just like hug and like kiss each other on the cheek. And like, it's like, whatever. So I, I quit paying attention. I would see her when I would like do shows at the, at the, in Akron. I would see her there. She was the bartender. I was so cordial to her, but I was like, all right, we're not, I'm not taking her serious like that anymore. And then when she like uh, started coming around again and she's like, hey, what's going on, whatever. And then she was like, hey, I just want you to know that I'm that I like you, that I'm uh, in that capacity. I was like, all right. I was like, let's give it another shot. I was like, all right, fine. Let's give it another shot. And then that's when like I showed up the night and the, the guy brought flowers. And next thing I know, they were fucking engaged to each other. And that was the end of it. And I was like. After that, I was like, OK. I was like, good for you guys. You guys go on with, it, with your own life. And I checked out. And then when they got divorced, she saw I was podcasting, had a little bit of an audience, wanted to do it. But then the same thing. Anytime any chick came on my podcast, I was getting text messages like, what's going on with that? What's this all about? What's this all about? Everything fucking asking me about this and this and that and a third. I was like, that's none of your business. So I was like, all right, maybe she is serious about it. And then like uh, the Detroit thing or whatever. And like, what, what are you going to leave a bar? I wanted to hang out. I was like, then stay. Call an Uber. I'm not your fucking responsibility. You have your own fucking key to get back in the fucking room. I don't give a fuck. So. But AJ thought she had shit to say. Oh, shit. She said nothing. <laughs> I thought I thought you guys were being serious. And she was like talking shit about me on another podcast. So I was like, yeah, but that's from the, so that was all just you guys fucking trying to. Yeah. I, ugh. Yeah. I, I, I wish her the best. I wish her the best. But yeah, there she'll be the first to admit zero happened between me and that lady. Zero. I like the hostility. There's no hostility. It's like, it's like someone calling you out for some shit you didn't do. It's like, get the fuck out of here. Fucking go on. There's a reason why everyone you fucking marry leaves you within like three days where they're like, peace out. I want nothing to fucking do with you. So. <laughs> I assumed again. All right. My apologies. I just assumed. I just assumed because someone said, I don't. I have her blocked on Twitter and someone said she was tweeting about me saying something. And I was like, all right, man, screw her. So there you go. She insinuated all that should happen with her consent coming and going. Oh, all right. Well then, yeah, th there was nothing that happened. So that, that's the other thing that's weird. Like there was no, nobody fucking, I didn't kiss her. She didn't kiss me in Detroit or anything. It's like a fucking handshake. That was it. There was nothing that, that, that's why that whole thing is like, like what? Nothing. Yeah, even what yeah, we shared the same bed, but like I didn't touch. I made a point not to fucking touch her. I made a point to be like, I'm not touching. What really annoyed me is uh, she asked me to do a podcast with her. Um, uh, she's like, Hey, we should do a podcast. How uh we're impossible to date. And I'm like, I'm not impossible to date. It's like I was purposely not being 
uh, I was purposely not trying to date women because you were insinuating that you were trying to date me up until so like I'm like, well, I'm not fucking what? No, I'm like, no, I'm gonna date women. Like, I'm not gonna do a podcast with you about fucking that I'm impossible to date. Like uh, that, we're both impossible to date. Like, what the fuck? What the what? What the fuck would I be doing that for? No, get the fuck out of here. You do your own shit with that. So whatever happened between her and Charlotte, that's between them. I have no idea. I just know they just did one podcast together. Um, she, she used you for internet fame. I don't know if I'm internet famous at all. So a, a girl that I was like pretty decent friends with, Ari Jane or whatever. Okay. So someone said she was... I blocked her on everything. I blocked her phone number. I blocked her on Twitter and everything. She like went to Detroit, invited herself to Detroit. And I was happy she invited herself to Detroit. I didn't care. She's a girl that like uh, tried to date me at, when I first got back to Ohio. And I like wasn't really, I wasn't interested in anyone. Then I was like, okay, let's give it a shot. And then like we like hung out. We like screwed around a little bit. She invited me to spend the night at her place. We screwed around. But she's like, all right, we're not doing anything adult. We're not doing anything. And I was like, at the time, I'm 48. I'm like, I was like, this is stupid. What are we doing? I'm an adult. You're an adult. What, what are we doing? So I, I walked away from her. I was like, all right. I was like, I was so cordial to her. I would see her all the time in Akron. But I was like, I was like, we're not, we're not, all right. We're, I'm like, we're, we're done in that capacity. You go your way. I'll go my way. But I was still nice to her when I saw her. And then um, and then she like started being nice to me again. She's like, oh, hey, what's... I was like, all right. So I was like, all right, we'll give it another shot. We'll give it another shot. I showed up one night to meet up with her. And then that's when a guy showed up with flowers. And like, and I was like, all right, this is... And then she ended up marrying that guy. She ended yeah. up marrying that guy. Then they got divorced like two weeks later. Whatever the hell that whole yeah okay scenario. I know what happened just recently I need to know what what is the how did you get trolled okay so she was um I'm catching you up on the whole thing so um someone last someone told me yesterday she was talking crap on me on Twitter or whatever so I was like all right whatever I've ever blocked I don't see anything she says I don't care I wish her the best I don't care. But then they said, like, she's on a podcast right now talking a bunch of dirt about you because she went to Detroit. She invited herself to Detroit when I was working, and she was going to get her own hotel room. Then she's like, oh, I, I can't get a hotel room. Can I stay with you? And I was like, yeah, fine. You can stay with me. I didn't, and I was, it was fine. I'm happy she invited herself. I was happy to have a hotel room with her. And then she asked me to do a podcast about her, about how we're both undateable and how nobody wants to date us. <laughs> so it's like... But, like, she'd get jealous, like, you would be on a stream with me. And then I would get text me, like, why are you flirting with Elise? So, like, girlfriend-type vibe-type things when it's like, you're not my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. So I thought, like, okay, maybe she's being serious. And I would have and I would have probably taken interest in that. But the fact that she fucking wasn't interested in me like that, okay, fine. It's like, okay, fine, not interested in me like that. So in Detroit, nothing. Kind of like when I, I stayed with you. We're just buddies. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I, I slept in a bed. Nobody made out with anyone. No one did anything. It's like, whatever. And then, like, she tried to, like, play a thing like no, no, something kidding. weird went down or something. It's like, get the fuck out of here. You invited yourself to my work event. Um, I guess the whole thing was, like, after the show, mm -hmm. uh, pe people were hanging out at the bar. And she wanted to keep hanging out and drinking. But I couldn't because, like, I, I got to drive. I'm in Detroit. I'm 25 minutes away from the hotel. I had like three beers and then I'm like, peace out. I, I, I'm i like, I got to leave. And then she came, she came with me and she's like, I didn't want to leave. Well, then guess what, bitch? Fucking stay and get an Uber. Like, just stay and get an Uber. It's not my fault. Like, I'm leaving. I think my we've already, I think I've heard this one before too. So yeah, yeah. tell me more. What, what has happened since? What is, oh, no. Someone said, she, no, someone said that she was talking shit about, uh detroit and everything on a podcast right now which made me fucking lose it that she still was like trying to be relevant and like trying to like make a name in whatever this dumb little dabble verse thing it's like stop it so i kind of went off the only thing i said that i kind of regret is she's been married three times 
Uh, and none of her marriages lasted longer than like a couple months. And I said that tonight just because I was venting, which I didn't know that is truth. But now I feel bad. And she wasn't act- she wasn't trashing me on a podcast. People just got under my skin and I fucking exploded. She wasn't. And- so, okay, wait. <laughs> so really, she we really buried the lead on this one, Ray. Okay? Yeah, so she, she wasn't to- talking she's shit about not talking trash about you <laughs> no. on the podcast. And I just fucking you went had, like this. You had like. You you interrupted everybody's regularly scheduled program. No, that's not true. Some people to be a reactionary. Well, some people are saying that. So leaving comments like this, she was trashing you or whatever. Like I don't know, if she was. Victoria, trashing are you a real person? Can you? I don't know. Can that's what I'm saying. Up? Do we do we need to make? I sure fell for it. I fell for it. People were saying that in the chat, and I fucking. I fucking took the bait and I was like, fuck, I fucking went Tupac, hit him up. I was like, just like, here we go. You invite yourself to my shit. You fucking do this, this, this. I fucking was like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I went off. I went off. I went off. So uh, that's what you walked in on. I fucking went off on her. Well, um, there's also, there's, there's mention in the chat, the chat of you talking trash on me in the discord. So I don't know if that's a hearsay. I'm not in discord. There is no discord I'm in. So okay. people, oh, that, that's on, a rumor. On Kevin Mel- Brennan's mad if I'm on fucking discord. I'm not on discord. I went in Watch. fucking, nobody Why likes onions discord. discord. I don't have a discord. I no, went in. Nobody why, likes why onions. He, why Discord. Is he mad? What, what does Kevin? What's Kevin's beef with Discord? I have no idea. Discord is like Kevin should have a Discord for MLC. He should have a Discord. But um, I did a stream. I ended my stream because he started a stream, and then uh, some people like come over to um, NLO Discord. I was in there for five minutes. I've never really been in there before. It's like a video thing. My friends, Teamster Tim was in there. KB, people that are fans of my podcast that I'm friends with. KB's a moderator. They were in the Discord. So I just went over to say hello. And Kevin was mad that I was in a Discord. So that's why people are saying Discord. Yeah, don't take the troll bait. I took the troll bait tonight. They're, they're would, trolls, the trolls are out with a vengeance. Yeah, the trolls are out with a vengeance. But I fucking did like a... I just called out all her shit. I'm fine. I don't hate the lady, but... It's like, yeah, I, I hate to have she like tried to, because she did try to like throw that at me. The fact that she couldn't, at least you know me. Mm-hmm. I have a zillion flaws. You yeah. know that I'm self aware about my zillion flaws. I'm fucking aware of my flaws. But when someone comes at me and they're like not calling off their own flaws, like everyone's a piece of shit but them. And it's like, no, stop it. Let's all, let's all be fair. Let's all play within the rule books. Okay, so is this all everything that you were talking about before? Did you talk about your your show? What what show? The one that didn't happen. Oh yeah, yeah. I was gonna do a comedy show tonight, but uh, there's a hypnotist, so like you can't do comedy be uh, before a hypnotist. But I was gonna do like 15 minutes of new jokes. What is it, so Flip Orly? Who was no? It? I don't know who the fuck like Gemini or something. Someone fucking Akron. Leo Gunn, oh, I read the Attaboy Ray. This for you, don't take no shit from nobody. I'm not. Jason Bentley, who's a good act. Chipper Jones for life. Uh, <laughs> Jason Bentley, I don't know if I should be proud or embarrassed for you, Ray. Regardless, you're not Chad, so you have that much going for you. Keep your keep your head up, champ. Yeah. Bless you, Jason Bentley. He's a good egg, I tell you. Jason, AJ's laughing at you. Keep talking about odor? Say what you want about Aerie. She does have good uh, fucking deodorant. I do like her deodorant. I know. Kind of, I'm like, yeah. I'm upset because you're losing the the natural, homemade, heady deodorant connect for us. And Not that's, really, because I'm friends I'm, with... I'm having a... I'm, that's what I'm, I'm... I'm just looking out for number one here, okay? And you got to find another source now. No, for that's all- fine. I do have the number one source. Her husband... VictoryPose.com. Her husband, Dave, her ex-husband, was the one that made deodorant. Um, I've actually seen him in Akron. And, like, I'm... Listen, I we bond, can find I, Dave. I, I, Dave I bond is, with her ex-husband right now. Her, 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 Dave her, her, is hooking her it up ex-husband and I are fine. Yeah. I'm this like, dude, I get wrong. it. <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> yeah. 
So I get I get the, I get the deodorant still. I just get it from her ex husband, the guy who originally made the deodorant. So I get it from him. You haven't been getting it from Ari at all this this whole time. No, no. But I have a new hookup for deodorant. Uh, it's the original deodorant. <laughs> okay. Well, good. Well, I'm glad that that all happened. I'm sorry that your show was canceled. Um, oh no, it wasn't canceled. I was just doing a spot on it. Oh, 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 I was just doing a spot. I wanted to do a bunch of new jokes, but yeah, uh, no, I don't want to do that to Ari, but I, I will like promote her ex-husband's deodorant. Discord, right? That's no, the thing. I'm That's not on the Discord. Thing. I'm not on fucking. I'm not on Discord. Stop with this Discord shit. I'm not on Discord. Kevin, you should get your own fucking Discord. I went on Discord for three fucking minutes because Teamster Tim and fucking uh, KB was on there. That's it. There were your fucking fans on there. Jesus Christ. I was on Discord for like three fucking minutes. Everyone stop with this fucking Discord talk. I don't give a fuck about Discord. Fucking Kevin. Jesus Christ, Kevin. Fucking. People fucking like you, you idiot. You're a funny dude. Stop with this fucking petty shit. Be a fucking. I hate to quote Louis J. Gomez. Be a real fucking ass dude. And just quit being a fucking bitch about everything. Jesus Christ. God damn, I'm still mad at Shuli. He, he sent my tax uh, to the wrong address. I'm mad at that. They sent me my 1099 to the wrong fucking address. I said, this isn't where I live. I go, this isn't where I live. And they fucking sent it to the place where I don't live. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? <sighs> but yeah. Victorypost.com. That's her husband's deodorant. It's good shit. What and is it called? That's what I had. Victorypost.com. That was your original... Fucking deodorant. Buy that deodorant. He's a good fella. He's a good man. All right. Now, what are we uh, drinking here? What are you? What are you drinking, Elise? What's I'm going drinking, on? Why I'm, am I so drinking I'm drinking water right now. How's Astoria? What's going on in Astoria? I'll be in Astoria next week. I'm going to. I'm going to fucking New York um, Saturday. Nice. That's where I'm going. I'm going to New York City Saturday. I got fucking shows to do. I, I think I'm going to do... Hope was supposed to do my podcast last night. I think I'm going to do her show on Wednesday. And then I'm going to do Danny Polachuk's podcast at The Stand Wednesday night. Nice. So I'll be in Astoria at the beginning of Wednesday. But I'll be, I'll be in Astoria doing my thing. I might come Saturday. I was going to come Saturday to hang out with Carlos Danger. If Carlos Danger joined my podcast tonight, I go, here's the deal. He's like, come hang out with me. I was like, I will hang out with you. Jump on my podcast. And he's like, I got to go poop. I was like, okay, you poop and you come on. And then he didn't come on. So guess what? Now I don't know if I want to see Carlos Danger. That fucking chubby son of a bitch. Now I got to fucking be mad at more people. No, you the don't. Thing. Listen, Carlos is a mensch, okay? You're not going to talk shit. You're not going to, just because you're in a fucking <laughs> doesn't mean that you need to shit on Carlos Danger. Someone's got to take him down. He's got it too good, Elise. No. He's just got it too good. Up. Just focus on you, Ray. That's all we ask. Uh, Jesus Christ. I actually have a show on Saturday. I don't even know what it's called. It's somewhere in Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> I'm doing are you it. Dis are you discoing? Money. You're discoing? No. AJ's no, laughing no, at you. Keep talking about odor. I might Thank come, you, Stacey I, come, Aaron. I might come by Hope Show on Wednesday. I'll be there. I'll be there at the beginning of it. Yeah, she was supposed to do my podcast yesterday, but her roommate was moving out in Astoria. Mm. I might be moving back to New York City. Oh, good. Are you excited? Uh, I am. You can get I, I also have to, I'm probably going to have to jump off here because I have to... I don't want to fucking hear that shit. You jump off later. You know what? I have an audition yeah, to prepare for also, which is like my first audition since the SAG strike. And I got a lot of I got a lot of uh, things to do. So tell me something. Welcome, little Lemmy. Welcome. Well, or give me ten more minutes, and you could jump off. Oh we'll... my god, Ray! Oh my what, god! What the fuck? You act like this is fucking torture for you. You're fucking talking to me. I'm your best friend. You don't have a lot of friends. You have me. I'm your friend. Hey, there. This is getting so depressing. I just wanna. I just. I can't get this time back. You know. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough. His mom does seem like a nice lady. I will say that about. Uh, by the way, ever since I have no makeup on tonight, but I put cover up on my fucking blotches yesterday. But um, it doesn't look as bad tonight. 
about the Sarah Silverman thing with uh with Brennan from her book or whatever. And it's like, it's like, all right, I'm like, that guy's just bad news. That guy's just bad news. So yeah, him and AJ can hang out and do whatever. And um victorypost.com. Buy uh buy that deodorant. It's pretty good deodorant. Yeah, it's pretty good fucking deodorant. I that's what I use now. I use victorypost.com fucking deodorant. It's fucking great. And if Harry Chain did not try, I apologize for just fucking voicing myself and just being honest, just having an honest moment of like, fuck this. I gotta hear about this shit. All the shit I fucking, uh, all the times when you were in a thumbnail and I would get text messages being like, can you get, what's going on with this? Why am I in the thumbnail? Fucking Melton will, uh, knows he's gotten the text messages from me. Like, dude, you gotta be in the, you gotta put her in the thumbnail. Just focus on me. Shuli knows he's gotten the fucking calls. He's bitched about it. Like, uh, I even did with Kevin Brennan. Like, dude, can you not name the show title this? I'm getting shit about this. So yeah, that's everyone with podcast can back me up on that. I wish them the best. I wish them the best. Yeah, I never had a black woman I never dated on my phone before. It's the first time I ever had to block a woman. I think I blocked Chad. I blocked that lady. There's only two people I've ever had to block on my fucking phone. Two people I've had to block on my phone. That's it. Harry Jane started making deodorant because her ex-husband um made deodorant so then she started making deodorant but he's the original one he still makes deodorant victorypose.com it's really good deodorant i like it i still wear it to this day um i did and my apologies i thought i i took the bait someone said she was trashing me somewhere i was like get the fuck out of here like i had to stand up for myself like you go fucking yeah, it's like, go meet another husband and get divorced in three days. You fucking go figure that shit out on your own. Leave me the fuck alone. Get mad at me because I didn't even know her daughter had a fucking OnlyFans until she texted me like, why are people being mean about my daughter's OnlyFans? Like, leave me the fuck alone. I didn't even know you, your daughter had a fucking OnlyFans. It had nothing to fucking do with me. So leave, leave me the fuck alone with that shit. Fucking, what, what the fuck? What kind of character does that say about me? You would think I would get like be like, hey, everyone go there and go trash the her daughter. Like, I didn't even know that shit. You already blocked on my phone. Then I had to block you on Twitter. Like, stop it. Go grow up. You go grow up. How about that? You grow up. And if she was not talking about me on a podcast, now I'm now I apologize. Now I apologize for everything. I'm a piece of shit. Just fucking going nuclear, just wait. But say what you want. You know that shit was like bubbling on the surface. And I, I blame that fucking Dr. Chow piece of shit for like enabling, like trying to do that. Yeah, Dr. Chow, why'd you guys only do one podcast together? That's for you, dude. That's not for anyone else. Yeah, that's for you. You fucking go do that. Tio, Ray sent Harry Chain. I will say this. I owe her a giant apology if I just got trolled and it wasn't her talking about me somewhere. If that's the case, a hundred apologies on that because like that was all stuff I was never going to fucking say ever. Uh, that That's all shit I was never going to say. That was all shit I was just going to keep under fucking wraps. I was never... I was never going to fucking uh, get it out. But yeah, if, um, yeah, but if people are like saying, yeah, then there it is. It's out there. It's out in the open. It's out in the open. Everyone could fucking, yeah, I just called it out. I just called it out. I was like, fucking, yeah. Just en enough's enough. It's like enough's enough. Fucking, yeah. All right. I love everybody. I am going to head out of here. I got shit to do. Peace and love for everybody. I'm off to New York City tomorrow. Peace.